Immersed Robot. Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Immersed Robot. This probably isn't the voice you were expecting, but it's the voice you've got for this video. I am a British man from the Midlands in the UK and uh, I'm doing this one in my own voice just to give a personal thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel. I have hit 250 subscribers or thereabouts now and it's, you know, a pretty significant little milestone for me. So I'm really pleased with what's happening on the channel, how it's performing so far. And uh, I just wanted to give a quick update on what's going on with the channel, what I plan for it while also showing some uninterrupted footage of No Man's Sky because just today, this is footage I recorded earlier today and for the past few weeks really I've noticed that the performance has improved quite significantly since I did my first video which was one of the first videos I did on this channel and I'm not too sure where that performance increase is coming from whether it's coming from Steam VR. Uh, a Steam VR update, a Nvidia driver update, or whether it's coming from the game itself um, in terms of updates, I'm not too sure. But I wanted to show some uninterrupted footage of that, um, just to highlight really what the kind of performance you can expect. The other reason is, is that additionally to that, there is the fact that I am now recording using a separate PC. So any footage that you see on this channel going forward will be recorded through a capture card on a separate PC, which will give more accurate results in terms of performance and what you can expect from a similarly spec'd system to the one that I use. Because it's not using the resources of that PC the, the when I'm playing the game to also record footage in OBS. I'm now using a separate PC for that. So it should give a more accurate representation of what you can expect uh, in terms of performance. And it's something I've, I've wanted to do for a long time. I've always avoided. And some games can be significantly impacted by recording at the same time while others are not that way. So No Man's Sky for example and also Microsoft Flight Simulator are very significantly uh, affected in terms of performance when you record footage in OBS on the same PC as you're playing on. But other games not, not quite so much. Either way I wanted to give a more accurate representation that's why I've done this little upgrade. I had to upgrade my second PC to a better CPU in order to accommodate this capture card and that kind of stuff but um, hopefully it will give better, better footage going forward. Yeah, so the footage you're seeing here now should be relatively high quality, hopefully. If there's any issues with what you're seeing here, then let me know and I'll try to improve things. I am still tweaking this setup. Things are not going to be perfect immediately, but uh, I'm trying to sort of dial in how things are done um, in terms of how I record footage and, and that kind of stuff and hopefully it will be more accurate either way going forward so I just wanted to make you aware of that um, and also general gaming footage that I do on this channel should be a little bit better going forward too um, so those are two things that I hope I've improved since I first started the channel. So in future videos I might use my own voice occasionally as well depending on the type of video that I'm pr producing because I originally started this channel with an idea of just doing the text to speech stuff using the the immersed robot character as a as a kind of gimmick or like a shtick that I, I could use to just do informative videos and that's worked in one way and I like it but I, I do receive comments quite regularly about people not really liking in that approach and people would prefer if I use my own voice. Um, now this is something that I'm taking on board and I'm thinking about. It's not always practical. Part of the, the other reason that I used, I went down the text to speech approach is because it's sometimes easier to produce footage in terms of like, I uh, produce videos I should say, um, because I can work on scripts behind the scenes, you know, type them up and also produce them in the text to speech format in uh, while I'm doing other things you know it's not quite so much time consuming in the sense as recording voiceover although it depends on the type of voiceover that I do because I can just you know pick up a microphone and record a video in the way I'm doing now and it can only be sort of 10 15 minutes long so it's not necessarily time consuming but it's just that I can combine the scripts and the recording of the voice while I'm doing other things whereas recording voiceover with a microphone is not always practical to do when other people are around or you know I've got other things to do where I can't necessarily 
necessarily speak uh, in the, in this way. That's really why I did it. But if people would prefer me to use my own voice in videos, then it's something I'll take on board. I'm not making any promises to do that because I think the text to speech does work in certain capacities. The performance test videos, for example, I think they work okay with in, in that way. They're, they're intended to be sort of very dry, very informative videos really um, so they probably work okay with that although uh, you know I'm I'm still working out exactly what I want to do with this channel anyway so we'll see how, how things go with that the other thing with the channel this is a hobby this is a casual sort of outlet for me to do this and I'm not feeling any pressure to produce videos which is great and I want to keep it that way as well so I hope people just enjoy what I'm doing so far and I'm going to try to keep that up um, while also improving certain things in places as well of course you know I'll, I'll take any comments that I receive on board and I do want to improve the channel when I receive comments that, that make suggestions that make it easy for me to, to improve those suggestions into future videos so I'll certainly do that as well but yeah I'm definitely keeping it as a hobby I'm not I'm not doing this for work I'm doing this purely for hobby and that's how I definitely want to keep it the other thing as well is I'm upgrading my PC I'm upgrading you know I've got this capture card now and stuff in order to improve videos this 250 subscriber milestone is important for me because it means I'm a quarter of a way towards a thousand subscribers and at a thousand subscribers YouTube will then let you um, monetize the channel and all I want to do with that is to get to that point so that I can then make it self-sustainable I can purchase games for uh, to do performance tests for example for when I receive comments from people that are suggesting games I can you know purchase that with the funds that I get from uh, producing content anyway and the ad revenue that I get from producing content and purchase these games in order to cover them on the channel so it's this kind of circular thing I just want to keep it so it's self-sustainable I'm not necessarily putting in a huge chunk of my own money to keep the channel going or anything like that I would love that to be the case um, and it's a long way off I understand that but um, it's something it's sort of a goal that I've set myself to get to that point that would be great too I don't want to necessarily make any money out of this this is uh, I enjoy my day job this is as I say it's a hobby for me and if I can make it so that I'm not necessarily pumping in a load, load of my own money in order to keep it uh, sustainable then then that would be a great point to get to uh, later on this week, um, so tomorrow actually, at the time of recording this video, tomorrow Microsoft Flight Simulator will be dropping an update, the World Update 3, which I do want to cover on the channel, so you can check that out later on uh, in the week. Hopefully I'll have a video up um, just covering some of the the new places that you can visit, the photogrammetry sections of the UK and that kind of stuff. Um, so check out that later on in the week. And this video that I'm showing you now is just general sort of uh, performance footage of No Man's Sky, uninterrupted uh, performance footage that I played just for, you know, 20 minutes earlier on today. And I wanted to show you this now because as I say, it has received sort of, I don't know if the game has received updates or how it's got improved performance but I have noticed this over the past few weeks now and this video highlights that what you can expect in No Man's Sky now and it's pretty good you know I'm getting sort of 90 frames per second in certain sections I'm generally running the game at 80 Hertz in the Valve Index and that works pretty well there are sections it's quite you know it's quite up and down in terms of where you can run 90 fps native 120 fps native it varies quite a lot 80 hertz and running at 80 fps native in most sections seems to work for me um, but if you want those higher frame rates then you can certainly try that and there's sections in this video even where i'm running 120 hertz native on planets which was unheard of before so um, the performance seems to be a lot better for me lately, uh, which I'm, you know, it, it makes the experience far more enjoyable. The, that 120 hertz on planets is, you know, it's not constant and it does fluctuate slightly, but it's certainly there in places. So um, I encourage people to go on and try this again. 
it works really well for me now and I think the game is still continuing to be a fantastic uh, experience in virtual reality. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to mention in this quick video. Thank you again to everybody that has subscribed to the channel and I hope to continue doing this. It's enjoyable for me and um, you know it gives me an excuse to play more VR stuff so it's great all around really. Um, please leave a comment on if you prefer more videos with my own voice or if you'd like certain videos in text-to-speech, um, a little bit more concise videos perhaps they would be. Uh, and I'll try to accommodate this stuff. I can't make any promises. It depends on how I want to go forward with the, with the channel and I'm going to keep it uh, enjoyable for me. I'm not going to feel pressure in, in terms of changing anything uh, just to accommodate other people that, that might you know, subscribe if I change things up. I need to keep it so that I enjoy it and it's manageable me, for me as well. So um, that that's the other thing. Um, but, so no promises, but please leave a comment and I will take, I will read all comments and I will take every suggestion on board too. Um, so that would be great. But um, now you can just enjoy the rest of this video. Uh, it's just, as I say, some footage that you can just observe FPS VR working its magic on the bottom of the screen just to uh, see how the game is performing now for me. With that, um, thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.
well that's pretty much it for this video. Please hesitantly tap the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more concise and informative VR content. You can also join our Discord by clicking on the link in the description of this video. And, as always, I'll catch you on the flippity flip.